your chest is full, you look good. So make sure you eat good and stuff. Try it. And when you pop up, focus on your chest. Shoulders, no problem. Just a little bit to get the feeling. Chest is full. Interesting stat about the 212. The top six finishers from last year are back. The top six. Will a newcomer break in that top six or will they take it again? Including last year's champion. On the subject of last year's champion. Our team, my coach, Iris, all our, all our other supporters, we everybody saw it. I was looking great. He's the only man to compete in both the Arnold Classic and the Arnold 212. First ever pro from Japan. I was working better than last Olympia, better than even uh, the honor that I won. And he won his biggest title of his career last year on this stage when he took the 212 championship. Seventh appearance in Columbus. Let's welcome Hiditata Yamagishi. The bodybuilding is not uh, what you can do on a stage, it's already done, you know. By the time you pose on the stage, you know, it's up to judges. The thing is like this, you have to cut down to the weight under 212. Then after that, I, I kind of struggling the last minute prep after a weighing. Charles. Okay, this is it. Guy. This is it. This is the top quality. Right after I came on the stage, I still don't know. I, I thought I was uh, doing great. You know, there's a lot to be said for the pressure that comes along with preparing for a show as the expected favorite. I've learned that, that is a pressure on its own that can be a beast. First quarter, I wasn't there. So that's when I, I really realized, okay, I, uh, something is going wrong. And uh, I realized, okay, I was in, I was in best shape. Then uh, this time I came really, really flat, which affect my uh, hardness. If you come in flat, you look actually really soft. Even if you don't have any fat on the skin, since you have, you doesn't have pop the muscle, so you look soft. That's why I lose, I, I, I lost. I came in six. Sixth place check goes to Hiditata Yamagishi. Last wow. year's victor. Good day. Sixth place. Sometimes you, you you know, you think you're the best, but if somebody comes in better than you, you lose. And the winner is Ahmad Ashkenani. Congratulations, Ahmad. Wow. You know, even that, you know, difference between you and first place uh, will be this much, but you still have to accept, you know, what, whatever the result. So each show is different. So uh, it is hard to say what was, what went wrong. I was disappointed, you know, myself. So I've been competing 24 years. But uh, this is my actually first time. Two shows in a row, I wasn't in shape. Never happened before. I didn't announce it, but I kind of, okay, maybe I'm done. I'm, that was the last show for me. That's what I saw. It's been uh, almost four months. So, you know, back and forth. Sometimes I feel, you know, I can do it more. Sometimes, okay, I'm done. But last two show, I, I wasn't happy. I, I, I wasn't sat satisfied. So I want to be, you know, feel, feel great. Then think about after. <laughs> I just want to do my best. I try to understand but again, it's, it's, it's not easy. I've been doing this all my life. I haven't done anything else besides bodybuilding. I talked to, uh, you know, Iris, I talked to my coach, my team. You know, I uh, just, you know, explain them how I feel, then I shut, shut it down. This year, especially uh, keep, you know, my body fresh and uh, mentally be ready for next year. You know, this is a necessary decision to sit out, sit out this uh, Olympia. You know, I, I, I just uh, gotta tell you, I'm, I wouldn't be here without you and uh, Gaspari, you know, the company changed a lot, but you know, 
of course you're you're one of the best bodybuilders so uh, you know you can give me you know not bodybuilding advice also business advice you know that helps me a lot to grow as a bodybuilder at the same time grow as a, like you say as a business you know. I joined Gaspar Nutrition 2009 so uh, I'm here in New Jersey just got here I'm, uh, I'm heading to uh, Gaspar headquarters and uh, you know meeting up with my boss Rich, Rich Gaspar every time I talk to him you know I'm impressed he, he's gone through a lot of stuff you know you know as a CEO of this uh, this huge company I admire him as uh, you know, Businessman as, as a human. So uh, Dragon Strayer is actually a nickname gave to Rich. Back then he was competing because he was he was a little a little bit smaller than other guys, right? I mean, shorter. I'm, uh, my nickname is Dragon. So he's gonna he's gonna kill me <laughs> in the training and stuff. <laughs> that's that's true. He's still kidding me when we train together. Then I remember. 2016, right after I won Arnold, that time, one of the worst time for Gaspar Nutrition Rich. But he just kept telling me, okay, he said, be patient, you know, stay with him, you know. So, I mean, of course I say yes, I, I, I always trust him. You know, a few months after he, he did it, he came back stronger. You know, it's been the best, you know, year, I think, the, since uh, Gaspar Nutrition started. Two scoops of the original Super Pump Max. Two. So I'm very happy you know, being with uh, this company, this team, with, and uh, with Rich. No, the precision's growing, really. We have cookies and cream coming, three colors. Okay. So workout has to be challenging in you know, order to improve. So now I'm, uh, I'm talking, trying to get some, some more less. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Oh, yeah. Fifteen. Nice. All the way. You know, guys, when you do a, a back double bicep, they call it the triangle. You know, you see in your back. That's where it's hitting direct. Ooh. No joke. This is serious. <laughs> I always have fun with Hide because we this is like fun training, hard, intense, and challenging in our body. And I still have a big ego even though I'm much older. <laughs> <laughs> Honest with right after the show, like I start feeling, you know, I, I'm, you know, coming to my end, you know, that that's what I was, you know, I felt a couple months after the, the Arnold, I, you know, motivator again, and uh, I still think shape you were in a year before and you were in that shape. You could have defended the title and won it. Uh, right now I, I'm kinda, you know, try to refresh my body and you know, mentally and you know physically. That's uh, one reason why I'm here to you know talk to you and uh, train with you. Then, yeah. you know, I can't keep doing You gotta adapt. Thing. Well you right. gotta adapt to the changing and yes. a lot of pros you know, that are old you know older than you mm -hmm. are still there Same competing. Way, yeah winning shows, placing high, because they, they adapted and changed their training, you know, uh, style. I'm, of course, can't lift what I used to lift, and I'm not trying to compete, but I still love training, and I've learned to still go through intensity. This is how we do it. I'm using lighter weights to protect your joints because you're going to keep the mass but prevent the injuries that you know you don't want they're especially you know your joints so i think it's like regroup and change the style that you're seeing now you can still make gains what i want to say the point is is that you know you're not done you got to just like brush yourself off and 
you know, start again for what you need to do for prep and learn from what happened. I mean, what do you think? I cannot say when, but like I said, I shut, shut down this year, 2017. But 2018 season, I want to try something different this time. I have, I have one thing in my mind I'm going to change, you know, in the last minute prep. But leading up to the show, this time, 15 weeks, it's, it's all the same. I, I gave myself one more shot, so uh, I'll decide soon, then I'll do 100%, 120% toward that show.